This evening, I'll be making um, simple burritos, as well as, uh, I guess, to say some simple tortillas to go with it. Um, very easy to make. Anyways, uh, we're going to want to start here with, uh, uh, get yourself probably a big, uh, a big pot. Um, very large one, you know, one you'll be able to mix in and do a bunch of stuff there when it comes up. Uh, grab yourself a, a smaller pot. Ready? Alright. Grab yourself a smaller pot, too. Alright. Just take these lids off real quick. Okay, now grab yourself, you're going to want about, let's say, two pounds of potatoes. Get yourself a small onion. Alright. Okay, so I don't know, I'll show you over here. That's about, uh, well, I guess, I guess, come over here would be better. Over to this side. I'm just going to grab this real quick. All right. Let me grab that too, just real quick. Bring this all over here. Okay, I'm going to wash up our, uh, just have a little, oh, you should always have yourself a little, uh, little container here just to be able to throw your little garbage and remnants in. Alright, I'm gonna get that peel this all loose and fluffy off of here. This cause a big mess. Hate getting onion peels on stuff. Alright, set that aside there real quick. Alright, we're gonna wash up. Get yourself a little knife. Okay. Wash up your potatoes, take out any little things you might see you don't want. Alright. Now, if you have problems with onions, go ahead and cut your onion. You can just grab the, the tip, flip to one side. Grab the other one, flip it to the other side. Just leave your onion underneath the water for just a bit. Or over by the sink where it's not going to be in your eye and you've already opened it. Alright, now bring these back over here. Okay. And we'll be back over to here real quick. Okay, I think I got every hump. Move back a little this way. Alright, so here I'm going to uh, just chop up my potatoes here real quick. Nothing fancy, just you know, just a regular hack. I'm not, I'm not even going to peel them. All right. Now, what you can do already? Grab yourself a pot of water. And you can turn on your stove and put in the water. Head. about two pounds of onions here or I mean two pounds of a uh, potato in here Make sure we got not two giant pieces all right need a little more water to get over all right I'm gonna, like so now my potatoes are all covered nicely. We'll put the lid back on over here. Now over in this one, so I mean about onion, little pieces of onion. They just try to make it everywhere all the time. A little they stick to everything. Okay, anyways, you get that on. Now you're gonna want to grab yourself um, 
Depending on how meaty you like it, I'm gonna grab a, well, I would say it's a less than half a pound, but about a half a pound of ground beef. All right. Okay, I keep mine in uh, little, little packets. Now I still have about a, uh, I can pour off a little more, but about a centimeter of water in here. All right, so I got about a centimeter of water. I'm going to turn this on max here. Okay, I'm going to start to. Uh, you can see how I just keep my meat. Uh, my meat just stays uh, in little portions so that I can. They cook a lot faster too when you do this, but it just makes everything so much easier. Anyways, just take those out. Okay, grab your onion if you and uh, a good knife. Good cutting knife. Grab yourself that layer of peel here you don't want off. All right. There we go. Nice clean onion. Pull that out. All right. Now here you're going to want a pretty small, uh, um, a pretty small um, uh, uh, cut on this. Uh, pretty much as small as you can almost make it. Um, not to cause any any problem. So, anyways, uh, you've, you've watched other videos where I chop onions. I'm not no professional. Oh, little slice out there. Just gonna oh, put it back the right way. Anyways, okay. few bigger pieces won't harm everything but you don't want no big chunks in here all right I'm gonna take that and drop it right in with the meat all right okay so, move it around a little make sure it all gets in the water all righty now right in here you can start to put in some seasonings where you can grab yourself a, a tablespoon and a teaspoon to measure. All right, grab yourself a teaspoon and a tablespoon. Um, we're going to be adding to the meat right away. Uh, you know, there's a lot of people, you don't have to, I'm doing this, to, you know, I usually I just salt by eye and season by eye, but I'm just doing this to give people a pretty much a simple basic idea here of just what you're going to be using. Anyway, just put yourself about two teaspoons of salt. All right, I put them on each piece of meat. Okay. Now again, you can almost season to your likings. You know, I'm gonna put a teaspoon of pepper myself. I like pepper, so uh, I could, I could add more, but I'm not going to today. Okay, uh, you're going to want to grab yourself a teaspoon of paprika. All right, get yourself some paprika. All right, now you can grab yourself a ba dum bum bum. Well, that'll be uh, grab yourself the jalapenos too. Uh, well, I should say you don't need to. I'm using jalapenos for mine. I like a little bit of kick. That's why I'm not putting as much pepper because um, I'm going to put jalapenos. But you could put chili peppers. You could put, you know, cayenne pepper, any kind of. I'm using a dried pepper that I dried myself. All right. So, you know, you can use yourself a teaspoon of that if you want. Or more, like I'm about to just let a little extra flow down in there. <laughs> All right, so that goes in. 
Okay. Now you can also get a, a, your soya sauce in here you'll want. Um, you can just use a, your teaspoon for that or you can eye it out. Instead of uh, dirtying mine, I'm just going to put a, about a teaspoon. There you go. Okay, grab yourself a big spoon. a big spoon like I'm going to use one like this you know so a good sized spoon you can go ahead get your meat turned around in there Flip it so you get that. and then I, do, I just kind of scrape the meat I, I just cook a little bit at a time so it breaks off into like little tiny morsels and just keep turning it around you'll notice it has no problem what I'm going to try to do is break the meat down to be so it's not like a very much chunks there won't be chunks of meat I want this broken down, you know, minced or, uh, you know, as tiny as you can almost get. So that's the idea of the water is that it cooks a little bit all the way around on it. You know, while it's cooking, you flip it and it won't just cook in one spot. All right. teaspoon I think is all done. I got salt, pepper, soy sauce, I got some paprika, some jalapenos in there. Okay, you're going to want to get some garlic powder and some parsley in here. You're done with your teaspoon I guess. Um, I'm just going to want some parsley. Just have a good tablespoon of that. Wherever you put parsley or wherever you put garlic, put yourself some parsley. You won't have that bad breath. Right. There we go. So, oh, there is one more, one more ingredient here. Don't want to forget, and that's some chili powder. All right. Put yourself in a. Again, this is one of these seasonings you can put more or less in. I'm going to put a tablespoon, but for myself, I like it a little more chili in there. So I'm going to put actually another half a tablespoon there. Oh, just going to get a little stuck in there from the steam. There you go. Okay, that's it. Again, get your meat started to help breaking up in here. Okay, now this here you might want to just move to the side when you start to hear your the lid start to ring. Okay. already done. There's just a little piece left in here. Okay, we got these guys on a hard boil. It's a good thing about having a high, when you're only using half the pot, you can really let it boil hard and it shouldn't go over. Okay, you can already see smell it just smells all almost smells like a burrito already in here because of the spices all in here so we're just trying to break everything up here Uh, 
I'm going to turn this down because all the meat's pretty much broke now. And we're just going to want it to pretty much stew in here now so everything breaks up nicely. Okay, so I'm going to even reduce that further. Over to here. You can put the lid on this now. That's just going to cook along. You can just let this cook along over here, no problem. And now, that's uh, pretty much it. I'll be uh, editing out the next part, but I'll be leaving it for this video. But you'll be able to catch the next part here coming up. Anyways, um, uh, I guess I'm just going to make the tortillas here. Um, just uh, tidy up real quick. All right, so I'm just gonna come over to here now. We'll be making these tortillas. All right, so we'll make some simple simple tortillas here this is about as simple as anything could ever get so uh, you're gonna want a measuring cup All right grab yourself a measuring cup um, try to get a little higher on the sides especially if you've got one like that uh, you're gonna want to grab yourself some cornmeal I have some in a uh, larger amount I should uh, okay um, making the tortillas here I got the other things cooking here but this is just for the tortillas so anyways we're gonna just put about a half a cup in here usually I would use the bigger bag but just for this video I'll just use my little bit of cornmeal okay so about a half a cup of cornmeal all right and we will want about half a cup of flour again I'm just gonna use my a little bit of flour that I have nearby. Okay, so get yourself about a cup of flour, or I mean half a cup of flour. That's it there. Okay. Keep your flour out handy. I'm just gonna move it over here. Grab yourself a little, a little bowl and fork. Just need a regular large fork for this, okay? And just grab yourself a, you know, a a little bowl. Doesn't have to be very big at all. Anyway, you can just go ahead. Your measuring cup is done now. Take your measuring cup. You can go ahead and uh, well, put yourself you, you know, I don't put yourself a cup of water, and you'll see how much you use. But you're probably going to need a little over a quarter cup. Anyways, mix this in here first so you get all your flour and your, your cornmeal, okay, mixed well. Now I like these because, you know, their tortillas are good if they're corn or they're flour. But I've always thought they tasted way better when it's been a, the mix. So anyways, you just start with, you know, if you say you had a quarter cup in here, just start with about half of that. And just start in the middle don't pour around on the side just you know start in the middle work your little a little bit and you'll see you'll need more it'll show you right away all right so never put too much if you're gonna make this you'll see why just keep working it until you notice it's like so thick you really can't work anything anymore all right You'll see it's sticky and... Right. And that's the good thing about the fork is you just squish everything back. It's like mixing it itself while you're using the fork. Alright. Use a dash of water more to make this easier. Okay. 
Okay. Now. It's not too sticky or anything. I won't get my hand. I shouldn't get my hand too dirty here. Anyways, you just got. I'm just gonna fold it back on itself using the side of the bowl. It is a little sticky. Just a dash. I put a put. I think I put just a dash too much water. See, I'm at, I'm at a quarter cup. But uh, like I say, it's about a quarter cup you want for this. But it's just you can hear it. Uh, maybe you can see if I can get the. I don't know if you can hear that stick, you know. It's not sticking to my hands or anything, but I can feel it's wet. You know, it's not like uh, causing me stick like it's glue or anything, like, like if it was just flour. Okay, but anyway, you can see this. So now, you're going to get this. Just start to work it a bit. It doesn't take very much. It's mostly just squishing it, getting it back on itself. If there are any little crumbs that fall, get them, pick them back up. Now, you want this to be about the consistency of play-doh just a like warm play-doh I guess if you will so I just put a sprinkling of flour in there because I'm just gonna try to get the right consistency anyways all right now I'm just I'm squeezing it with my fingers like that just to really work it out fast get all the flour worked in there so anyways so you can see try to pull it apart a little bit there and show you so it's starting to now, it's starting to, instead of just pulling right apart, it's trying to do a little stretch. So anyways, it's not too dry, you can see how, okay. So just make yourself a little ball here, like this, and just literally let this leave this, and what I'm going to do is actually just I'm gonna leave it up here on the stove just out of the way. Just go like that. Boom. Cover it. I'm gonna leave it there for about 10 minutes. Um, that's about all we're gonna do. Um, come back. Not even. You can go about five minutes, but I'll wait about five, ten minutes. Let that really sink in there and get combined. You can leave your flour on the side. You can get rid of your your um, your uh, uh, well. You can keep the fork around too. Let's get a little crumb off of there. So anyways. Um, you can keep the fork around. You don't need your water anymore. Uh, you can, in fact, if you want, just pour if you've got a little leftover water. Go ahead and just pour it in there. So it can get hurt nothing. All right. And, uh, we'll be back in about, you know, five minutes, ten minutes for that. It won't be very long. All right. there okay so now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, get my next step uh, for the rest of this um, the potatoes if you will get a little, little fork and poke the potatoes give them a little uh, checking on I guess to say well yeah they start to feel nice and tender we're getting there Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a can of uh, red kidney beans. Kidney beans, but red kidney beans, dark ones, I believe. Oh, just red. They're not dark red. They're just regular red. All right, so grab yourself a can of kidney beans. Um, I'm going to whip this over to here real quick. Just to show you, I guess, what I'm about to... How I do her. Okay, grab yourself a... Grab yourself a strainer and a can opener. Alright. further away. Okay, anyways, put that in there. Put 
the water turned on, and pour your beans in like so. Now I'm going to pour water right away into the bottom of the can and swirl until all the beans broke up. are washed. Washing the bean is going to help you with a lot of, uh, um, washing the beans will help with a lot of uh, 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 digestion issues, you know, you know, no, you, you get a little gassy whatnot, which, you know, because uh, of beans, and by washing them and getting that all out of there, you're going to eliminate most of any of the problem unless you just have a personal problem with beans. But uh, I've never had a problem anyways. Anyways, so let's get that up. We're gonna go over here. Should whip the camera around real quick while I'm trying to do this all at once. All right, so go ahead, just open up your, and pour in your beans right in. All right. Put that over to there. And you can stir these two now. Alright, get those in. That's nice. Alright. Now I'm going to give the meat here too, another little, uh... Oh wow, that's smelling nice. Now you can see the meat has done a lot of the work itself on mince, getting, you know, all thinned out and minced up. Um, I wish I could, uh, I think I might be able to get some of the gravy here to show it, or some of the juice here. I don't know if, uh, I guess I should just come over with it. I don't know if you can see the beautiful colored, uh, uh, shoot, can't really see color here very well, but, uh, you know, it's really, really nice red. You know, really very, very rich, vibrant red. Yeah, I guess you can see how dark it is right there. Anyways, it's real nice. The onions almost have broke down to almost where you're not even going to know they're there anymore. I don't know if you can even, I'll try to scoop, you know, like, I guess I just come back over here and show you a good scoop of it, uh, you know, so. You know, it's not like you see onion. Alright. So, that is done here too. Pretty much. They're on low, we're still got him rammed up on high. He's doing a good one. Alright. So I'm gonna guess I'm just gonna come back to I'm gonna come back here and now I'm gonna start these there, you know, it's been a few minutes here. Then like I say, it doesn't take that long. You know, it's just you want to have a little time, but you know, uh, you know, they don't need to sit. It doesn't need to sit there for an hour or a half hour or anything like that. It just needs to get, to, to get a little bit of a uh, uh, help for itself. Okay. So, anyways, now what I'm going to do is actually uh, take this and move over to that side. I'm gonna take this out here. Uh, move this just the side over to there for me. Nearby. And what I'm gonna do with this. Is, and you can see you can actually see here like, like there's absolutely no stick or anything like that here okay so what I'm gonna kind of do is try to try to just square it up a little bit like a little bit of a, a brick if you will okay just go like that give yourself a little bit of a shape so you can get a, a good even a good even cut when you divide this up and that you're not gonna have different sized balls here so anyways I'm gonna go this this makes six tortillas okay so your first thing you're gonna want to do is just you know you can maybe just score it so you can see the size of your your little those that you're about to do okay so that's about all you're gonna be doing so one there 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 that's about it okay now, roll them into little balls. All right, I should be, uh, oh, I hope I got all that there. Let me score it, get them all into little balls. 
Don't know if I actually got that on videotape. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do it real quick again here, just to show, okay? So get yourself a little square. This, is, this isn't like regular pie dough, so working it too much isn't really the biggest issue here. Okay, so anyways, uh, okay, we got this back together again here, right? Nice little brick here. So I'm gonna score it, go like that, you know, just to get that, just just to give me a line so I can see that I know I'm getting really close to the same size. So anyway, just cut out your little pieces like that. Like this, like that, like that. Now just roll your balls. All right. You can throw them back right into the into this for yourself. Okay. Yeah. Boom, boom. Now you're just trying to make sure not to leave any cracks, you know, like, like this right there. You're really trying to make sure that this is all nice little sealed ball. All right. All right. You know, like if you get flour in there and it collapses on itself, it's not going to work so nice. All right. And one more. All right. So we got six little balls in here. Okay. I'm just going to let those sit there for a little bit again. Now, my meat is ready. I'm going to shut it right down. All right. Shut that right down. My potatoes are essentially ready. The beans, because they're canned beans, are pretty much already cooked. So they're pretty much already done over here. Um, what you're going to want to do uh, 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 still is um, uh, 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 get yourself another wood board and you're gonna to wanna to get yourself a pan. Now what I'm gonna do here is, um, I'm about to take this all off. If you were doing tortillas, it'd be a little separate, you know? Uh, well, I guess I should just do it like, so I'm gonna shut the stove off real quick over here. And uh, best, I just, best I just move this out of the way so it's not in our camera viewing way. All right, so I'm gonna move this over to there so it's out of the way. All right, move this over here so now we can, so I can still see here with the camera. Now, I'm gonna try to do everything it's a little harder because usually I move back and forth. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do is get yourself a, a pan. Now, usually the, usually the burner is, uh, usually the burner's cold, so I wouldn't be putting it on right now. So I'm gonna actually not put it right, right on the burner right now, okay? Now, what I'm going to do here is um, get myself, that's still a little too warm to do this too, because usually I just put a, oh, I think I can actually, hold on here. Hmm, yeah, I could just do that. All right, so I'm just going to actually put that there, just so I can not burn that or anything. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get a tortillas, and I'm going to have one tortilla sitting here pretty much just getting ready so I can get a, essentially a continuous cycle and if anything happens then I'm gonna have like a backup getting ready because once they start cooking they're fairly rapid to start whipping out okay so next thing you're also gonna want is a, a cloth a dish cloth uh, grab yourself a dish cloth here all right so now you're gonna want to you know I'm, I've got a you know I folded in four here but you're gonna want to, you're gonna want it. To, I, I'm doubling it up, so you're gonna want like a like a sandwich here. Cause you're gonna open them up and put them in there. So, anyways, I'm just gonna leave them. Uh, I'm just gonna show you over here, I guess. I'm going to put them up over here while I cook them. So I'm just going to lift this up here and I'm gonna throw them in there as I make them. And as soon as I'm done cooking them, I'll show you what to do with them next there right away. So, anyways, I got a place that's ready to put them. I got a pan that's getting ready to cook them. Um, I'm going to turn on the heat here and everything in a, in a, in a second. Anyway, uh, it doesn't take very much flour at all here. Like, literally, I'm going to put in two pinches, but it takes about a good pinch to get this started. Just get your little ball started here and, you know, make it, make it very, 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 you don't have to, like a little equal, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect, but the more round you pay attention to putting it while you spread it here, the better it's going to be uh, when you go to roll it. So anyways, uh, just go like that. 
like I say, I'm just gonna, as soon as you spread it a little, just get more flour underneath, you will never get anything to stick. Get yourself a rolling pin, and uh, I know I've just, when you roll, don't just go like this back and forth, and don't just go like that back and forth. You wanna do a couple, and then crisscross. So it's like you're gonna do the, a plus sign here, and never start at the edge of the dough. Start partially in the dough and back and forth. So a couple of them, okay? And then go crisscross the opposite way, okay? Okay, I can feel it starting to wanna stick. And you can go like that. So they don't have to be perfect circles. So you can see here now, oh, a little bit torque and it was just sticking. That doesn't hurt nothing. You can eat it if you want. Cats love to chew on those little bits. Okay, so anyways, you can see here my first little one. It's super, super, super thin. You know, I don't know if I can probably show how thin that is, you know. Uh, so anyways, I'm just gonna set him aside over here like that. And now is where I'm gonna put my pan on. Okay, I should turn back a little bit this way. Uh, just to get that. Okay, so hmm, I wonder if I could, so I, usually I, I usually cook them on the bigger burner over here just because it's a more equal heat. And that's how, hey, I'm gonna have to do it that way because I don't wanna screw these up or anything. I know it'd be a little harder to cook here on the smaller burner. Anyways, I'm gonna put this a little less than half. So I'm gonna put it on four myself over here but not perfectly half. I'm gonna put it just a little off, offset on half. All right, takes nothing in the pan at all. All right, now what we're gonna do over here, okay, grab ourselves a, a good pinch. All right, again, just work this out into a little, like that, push it around. Pay attention to how, so you don't get these weird, weird odd shapes here, because if you're gonna wrap something with it, it really doesn't make it nice then. Okay, so a couple like this, couple this way, couple this way. And it never hurts to put a little, you can still, anytime you want, almost reshape them. See, so they stay nice and circle-like. circle, circle -like. Okay, so now I'm grab a little bit more flour here. I don't make big tortillas because it takes a bigger pan and the pan I have I really like plus I don't find, I don't find it hard at all. Alright so that's about a nice one there too. I'm going to take this extra one I got right now and just throw it on the very top of my, my cloth and now I'm essentially about to start cooking here in a second. Now, if you had an extra person to do this with, you know, you could you could be making them a lot quicker uh, uh, in the sense of, of not having to worry. Now, I have to, I can't cook them, you know, don't cook these on very high because you'll, you, you'll have a problem if you try to. They'll cook, uh, you know, the outside you'll get little burn marks too quickly. So anyways, a little bit like this, a little bit like that. <laughs> All right, like I say, I'm not going with perfect circles, but good to try. Just seeing that pan size. Okay, so now I'm actually going to take my first one I did, and I am, as I lay it, I know this is already hot enough. Anyways, as I lay it, I'm going to actually touch the back of the pan and pull it down first and let it sit in. Now it sits, like I know about the size, that's why I'm good. I know that I'm gonna sit rather nicely in here. Now you can already see the steam starting in here. All right, I'm just gonna grab this guy here. I'm gonna throw him over here. All right. I'm gonna start this here like that. Okay, I'm gonna flatten this guy out with my hand like this. 
right. Flat him like that. All right. Now a little this way. Okay, now I'm going to come over here. Now, um, I guess I could probably get the pan real close. If you look in here, um, if you've ever cooked a crepe or something, it's, you know, it's not, not exactly like this, but you can see there's just little tiny bubbles that are actually starting to form here, like tons of little ones, but you can't really see them. It's just like, you know, a little bit of dimpled skin. That's essentially telling you, now you don't need a fork. You know, this is, a, you know, it's not, they're not that hot. Anyways, I can sh now show you the backside here a little better. You can see the little brown spots. You see, see a little bit of brown here and here and here. That's essentially it's ready. Throw it, flip it onto the other side like that. All right, now I'm gonna just do this a little more over here. All right. All right. That's a nice one there too. Okay, so now I got another one here ready. Move this bowl aside. I'm gonna take out flour, do one more here. Alright, I'm just gonna make it in my hand again like this. Alright. You almost, if you, I can say it when you're rolling these, you can almost not roll, it's almost hard, too hard to roll too thin. It's almost like you can't do it. The only thing that happens is you start hitting, you know, a little bit of a, of a, what do you call it, a, a sticking happening. All right, so this is more than done over here. See, you just got this, this is the other side of it. See, so we've got one side, that side, more than done. Like I said, I was gonna do, just take it, throw it underneath your little cloth here. All right, grab your next one. Again, you're gonna go in, droop out of the pan, come down in the pan before you pull it into. Because if you if you don't, it's gonna end up falling. And as soon as they get as soon as it gets warm, you can see right away. See where it's warm. You can see see it's hot here, so it moistens up. It's not hasn't touched here yet, so it's see it. I can feel the stick. So it's a little bit sticky just for the first few. So if you touch it in there and it falls on itself, it gets a little sticky, it's a little bit of a problem. So anyway, we're gonna pull out one more of these right here. For that, we're gonna be doing up the last one here. All right. Now I should say that uh, if you've got, if you if you want, you can actually, I should just show you, if you have a wood, if you just take a put in your stove and you put it on through the, the grill, you can do that with the grill in the stove and you can actually just warm them up like that in the stove too, like tacos. It's the same thing, okay? So you, you, you can fit roughly in a stove. I'm pretty sure you can fit about 18, make 18 shells out of one batch in the stove. So all you do is put them all in like this and then turn your stove on and keep your eye on. They're very quick to cook. I'll probably do one of those episodes one day. But anyways, um, I don't need, you know, 18 at a time. That's why I, I just do them like this. Anyways, this you can already grab. You just flip them. I know I don't use uh, I don't use nothing in here. Like it's not that the, the the edges will peel up enough that you don't have to worry. Anyways, I'll just pull it out real quick again. Show you the back side here that I just cooked. See, just a few little little spots. Okay, we're cooked. Um, pretty much that one up here. I'm on my last little dough stretch here. All right, I'm just gonna pad this one out, and what I'm going to do is. Because now that pan is a lot hotter than the first one that went in there. Okay. And it's cooked. Okay. See? I already knew it. See? So. Okay. So now I'm just going to slide that one in there. Next one in. I'm going to pull this one out. Again, droop outside. Pull down and in. And you can see, like, okay, uh, not yet, not yet. The steam has started. The color has changed. I see all the perimeter. 
and it's all literally all one color right now. It's that quick. All right, then I'm just gonna okay, go like that. Okay. They're, they're ready. It, it, it sticks at the very beginning. Again, see? Not, not, not hard. All right. Now, you'll see there's a temperature sometimes. I'm going to try to show you here. Um, the bubbles that start to happen. That means you're usually going a little too hot. If the bubbles start to really expand on it, just lower your temperature a bit. Okay, and by that, I'm going to show you right away too. You can actually see see the bubble right here that's started to form. There's a few of them that are in there that formed. Okay, that's already cooked, you see? So now, that's what I mean by not having too many ready uh, to roll here. Okay, so I'm going to go, oh, see? Oh, that touched a little too long and it stuck. It was that quick. All right. Okay, and count one, two, what, three, four, five, six, seven, what, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. See, it's still sticky a little. I just tried to lift a bit. I could feel it was still a little tacky. So I know it's not cooked. Again, I'm just going to grab the edges peeled. Oh, see, it's done. Peels up nicely. Okay. Now, it may sometimes not look, um, I don't know if you can see it, sometimes it doesn't look like it's so perfectly cooked. It actually looks a little well, like, I don't want to use the word greasy, um, like there's oil in here, because absolutely I didn't put no oil. You see how I saw, I just put a little bit of water. But it's going to look a little bit of, uh, uh, like, like, like it's a little bit of grease in there, just a dash. And that's actually, I'm just pushing down some bubbles that are forming. Anyways, uh, that's it. See, done. Now you can see, you know, like these are still like, you know, you can still roll one up and everything. Now they 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 do tend to dry out if you don't put them storm properly. Okay, that's why I'm stacking them under a blanket at the moment or under the towel at the moment. Anyways, put them in nice and well, put them in nice and quick. Okay, they only take a little bit of time. I just wipe my, uh, not say wipe it, but I'm just picking up the flour with this. That's right. Because I, not to waste any of the flour here. Right. Last tortilla is the nicest, roundest one, eh? I guess. <laughs> this is a nice round one there, right, mate? All right. So he's done pretty much. Give him a little flip. As soon as the color, essentially, as soon as you got a dash of color in there, you're pretty much done. All right. Now I'm going to push this guy aside over here. Okay, flour can go back away. I'm grab a little bowl here. All right. Cloth this here. All right. This is ready. All right. See. See. There's a little bit of color here, here, and here. You know. It's, so it's really it's done. This side's got a little dash more color. All right. Throw the next one in. I'll actually pull these down here for you now. Okay. There. As in, in fact, I'll even bring them up to here. Now, like I say, you can make them a little, the first one I made was just a dash, I say, will be a dash on the crispier side, because it's my, my time one, that's always the first one, it's not, say, it's a throwaway, but if you were making tacos, 
it's almost not to say perfect, but it's a nice, it's a nice not crunchy but not soggy texture. Okay. Oh, see, it's already moving around in here. See, it's not stuck anymore. Done. Now, shutting off the oven. Got more time. There's way more time than I'm going to need in there. All right, so you can see I just made, made all of these up here. Now, what I do myself is I store them. I store them in one of these. All right. So... So you can see, see, they're not, you know, now the first one I say, it's, it's not crunchy, but it's a little more, just a dash more tough, but it'll soften up. So anyways, anyways, done. All right, so put them in and close them up. And that little bit of warmth in there will really keep them nice and soft for when you're about to eat. Now, they're not hot or anything like that. You saw I'm holding them with my hand. So anyways, that's done. Uh, those are my simple tortillas. Um, I guess I'm gonna probably put one together, uh, but I hope that was, you know, simple to show you those tortillas there. You know, I don't think it's at all anything hard at all to make with a tortilla. They're super simple. Anyways, um, just going to uh, put together uh, uh, the little bit here. Okay, so um, you don't need this pan anymore. I'm just pouring a little water in it just to get, you can hear how it was still really, really hot there. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, actually I'm gonna bring that board back. The one board I had there, the bread on. I'm gonna put this just here. Okay, and now this, is gonna be hot, so most people don't try to do this and put your hands on this, but I'm gonna go drain the water. Now there's, no, I didn't get perfectly all the water in there, but there's quite a bit of the water has been removed. And there's definitely, you know, like, I could maybe even pour a little out just doing that normally like this. You want to keep a little water in here, you're not trying to get rid of all the juice. All right, now I got way less than a quarter cup, way less. So anyways, you get this, get your masher out. mash this up just like you would any other that's why you want to leave a little bit of a, just a dash of water in there not like say a quarter cup is a lot more than you're gonna need you want to make this super thick now I wouldn't say puree this because it'll change the consistency and texture of everything if you puree it. And the idea of this is to try to keep a little bit of a form of meat texture. Now you've probably had a bean burrito, a beef burrito. Now this is going to be the two of them combined. Yeah. Best of both worlds. So pretty much now I can see that all my, all my beans and everything have been mashed up and I can almost do it like this by hand. Okay, now we are going to grab our meat. Now our meat still has quite a bit of juice in it. Um, all right, I'm going to try to show you the juice. If you've ever made tacos and you made like, you know, old El Paso and it comes with a package and it comes with some juice. This is almost what this juice looks like. It's almost that same juicy, kind of has a little bit of a greasy look to it too at the same time, shininess. So anyway, just pour that in. As you can see there wasn't a lot of juice in there, probably a good uh, quarter cup, half a cup. All right, well, we're done with that. 
give this just a little bing bang boom and now just start to put this together now you don't want to start slopping right away just mix it up oh wow the smell as soon as you do that oh that smells so nice Almost smells like this breed. I'm like you're at Taco Bell. <laughs> All right. Now, now you can see here. I'm going to show you. See how thick it is. You know she's got some some pretty good consistency. She will fall. Unless I give her a good pack, you can see she's a, uh, you know, clearly will still hold, you know, so you got a good one. Now, I like cheese on my burritos personally, but I won't, for this video, won't be putting one on because it's just a waste of time. So, we just want to make a burrito for this video. If you got a little bit of, uh, you know, shredded cheese, go ahead. So, anyways. A little quick spin in a circle. And just to tell you, um, you should let this sit for a few minutes, you know, five minutes or something. Let the flavors really uh, permeate each other there. But because I've mashed everything, the flavor has just, you know, it has no choice to get everywhere. So you don't really need to work, wait that long. It's just, it's it is very hot still but then if you had some cold cheese or some frozen sprinkled cheese in here it'd be nothing so anyways I'm just gonna grab a little blob with this go like that all right so the idea here and whoa, a little flavor for me to try <laughs> anyway um I know everybody's probably seen a move just this way a bit. Mmm, that's got a good taste. When you fold the bottom here, um, uh, what I do is I pinch together so so it does this. You can probably, uh, hey, I can't show you. Okay, hang on. I'll do it backwards with my hand. Pinch together and make like a fold. It fold it over on itself, see? So kind of like that, but instead of folding it on an angle it's just being folded and tilted okay so right like that so it's pretty simple I'm gonna do it by I'm gonna do it like this I'm just show you I'm gonna go like that fold over and fold over okay so essentially that's how it goes now you can see you know, that's my meat. You know, God, I, they're not very big, but me, two, three of these, and I'm right full. And I got, you know, I'm going to freeze this up, and I'm going to have burritos once a week for uh, for the next month. All i got to make is, a, uh, you know, a couple shells there once a week. I like making my bread once a week and everything. Anyways, we'll have a little bite of this, because I'm sure it's cool enough on the bite part there. Mmm, mmm. That's just delicious. I could eat this in a second. Mm. Oh. Huh. As simple as a burrito comes. If you don't like bean burritos and they're too beanie tasting, and if you don't like beef burritos because they're too meaty tasting, this is that blend right in between that just makes it perfect. Also being a good tortilla shell there. That, you know, it doesn't taste like corn. It doesn't taste like flour right in the middle again. Mmm. Make one of these disappear fast. Mm. And the dog's kicking around because she wants some too. Anyways, I'm going to end up eating all this on the video. I hope you guys ended up uh, liking a, sim a real simple. You know, I don't, I don't see too much, not really anything that unhealthy with this. So, if you like it, and please comment and uh, let me know. Again, more recipes and stuff to try. And I've got lots more in my mind to do. But maybe there's something I haven't thought about. Anyways, um, hope you like this video. This is delicious. All right, bye.